Hello, a very fine good morning to all of you students. So, right now, your chapter 8 body movements, this chapter is going on. So, from this chapter today, we are going to learn about the human skeletal system and its anatomy. Anatomy means the in the skeletal system all the parts about that we will learn along with the levelings and their functions so generally we know students total number of bones in a human body in adulthood it is 206 means 206 number of total bones are there in a human body in his or her adulthood so students today will start to learn the name of the bones and their functions from the top to the bottom means from the head to the feet one by one we will start so first cranium cranium there are eight cranial bones each with a unique shape one of it is frontal bone it is a flat bone that makes up your forehead so you in the figure you can see at the very first number is cranium and inside the bracket it is mentioned already number of bones are eight so about this i have already told again i repeat there are eight cranial bones each with a unique shape one of it is a frontal bone it is a means out of eight numbers one of it is frontal bone seven more are there it is a flat bone that makes up your four head next number is mandible in our chin in the face in our chin the name of the bone is mandible or you can say it is facial skeleton in this facial skeleton another name is mandible it is the largest bone in the human skull it holds the lower teeth in place and total 14 number of facial bones are there so in the human skull total number of bones 14 plus 8 total 22 and 7 more bones are there including all the bones it becomes 29 number of bones in the human skull so it is mentioned also inside the bracket so cranium or cranial bones number 8 mandible mandible or facial bones number 14 and total number of bones in human skull is 14 plus 8 22 and 7 more bones it becomes 29 are there in the human skull next next is cervical vertebra cervical vertebra basically there are seven number of bones c1 to c7 which is basically present in our neck and it provides mobility and stability to the head when we nod our head that moment it helps the head that the head can move very uh, smoothly now our next bone the name is clavicle clavicle or you can say it is a collar bone is a long bone that serves as a strand between the shoulder blade and the sternum or breast bone there are two clavicles one which one is present in the left side of the body another one is at the right side of the body it is the only long bone in the body that lies horizontally in the figure also you can see total two number of bones 
for the clavicle next one is scapula it is also known as shoulder bone or wing bone it connects the humerus with the clavicle so this number is also two scapula inside the bracket for each side uh, it is one inside the bracket is it is also mentioned one is present at the left side and another one is present at the right side next one is sternum you can see students after clavicle and scapula another bone is there named sternum or sternum or another name is breast bone is a long flat bone located in the central part of the chest it connects to the ribs via cartilage and forms the front of the rib cage thus helping to protect the heart lungs blood vessels from injury next part is humerus it is a long bone in the arm that runs from the shoulder to the elbow it connects the scapula and the two bones of the lower arm that is radius and ulna and consists of three sections and humerus it is also the in our body there are two type, two bones of humerus one is in the left hand another one is in the right hand next one is thoracic vertebra thoracic vertebra there are a group of 12 number of small bones you can see i have written inside the bracket t1 to t12 thoracic vertebra group of 12 number of small bones that form the vertebral spine in the upper trunk it is the only vertebra that support ribs so you have to keep in your mind it is the only vertebra that support ribs and its number is 12 12 number of small bones and ribs are 12 pairs inside the bracket i have mentioned ribs ribs are 12 pairs means total 24 number of ribs 12 pairs means 12 into 2 both the side means total 24 next one is there mentioned lumbar vertebra or lumbar vertebra there are also total five number of bones l1 to l5 next radius and ulna in the heart no, means in the hand next part after humerus that is radius and ulna radius and ulna are the bones of forearm radius bone basically supports thumb and and ulna bone supports little finger in our both the hands and these radius and ulna these uh, bones are present basically in our two hands left hand and right hand so total number of radius in our body is 2 and ulna is also 2 afterwards the part of the hands are there means basically after this radius and ulna three parts are there in the in both the hands and it is segregated like that carpals metacarpals and phalanges in our where gliding joint is present in our wrist after ulna there is carpals are present and total number of carpal bones are there in each hand eight and together two hands total number of carpal bones are 16 for both the hands 8 into 2 16 after carpals the part which is present in the hand that is metacarpals metacarpals are for the each hand 5 and 
total number of metacarpals are there 10 5 into 2 10 number of metacarpals and phalanges phalanges that is 14 for each the hand for each hand and total number of phalanges 14 into 2 28 number of bones so after radius and ulna it has been segregated the hand part it has been segregated the fingers basically segregated in three parts carpals total numbers in the human body 16 metacarpals which is 10 number of bones in a human body and phalanges 14 into 2 28 number of bones for the hands both the hands next part is pelvis it is also total number of bones 2 each side 1 and left side side and right side together 2 1 into 2 total 2 number of pelvis and we can say that it has also three parts one is hip bone another one is sacrum and another one is coccyx you can see in the figure so hip bones two hip bones are there these bones actually pelvis connect to the axial skeleton these bones connect the axial skeleton to the lower limbs and play a role in bearing the weight of the upper body and one more thing you have to keep in your mind students coccyx its another name is tailbone coccyx its another name is tailbone is a small triangular bone which is located at the bottom of the spine so coccyx is the small triangular shaped bone located at the bottom of the spine in the figure that you can see easily next part in the human skeleton that is femur it is the only bone located within the human thigh it is both the longest and strongest bone in the human body extending from the hip to the knee i repeat again it is the only bone located within the human thigh it is both the longest and strongest bone in the human body extending from the hip to the knee so femur number is also two for both the legs one for the left and another for the right so total two number of femur bones are there in our body next one is patella its number is also two for both the leg one is for the left another one is for the right so total two numbers of patella are present it is also known as kneecap and it is a flat circular and triangular shaped bone it protects the knee joint it protects the knee joint basically next part is there after patella in our leg tibia and fibula tibia for both the legs it is one and one means total two number of tibia and fibula bone is also for both the legs one and one total two tibia and fibula present in the lower leg linked with knee and ankle and at the last in our feet the parts are three means three parts are there total tarsals metatarsals and phalanges phalanges again tarsals there are total 14 number of bones for both the legs and for each leg seven number of bones are there and which is very much connected with the ankle and it is also known as gliding joint is present over there after tarsals metatarsals are there in the part 
and for both the legs means total metatarsals in both the legs are present 10 and for each leg it is 5 and phalanges for both the legs total number of phalanges bones are there 28 and for each leg the number is 14 so very much important things that you have learned today students the name of the bones along with their functions in the human body so these things try to keep in your mind for this class as well as for your future purposes so now i'm going to ask few questions from this part only what you have learned today so what is question number one what is the another name of clavicle bone and what is the function of it i repeat again what is the another name of clavicle bone and what is the function of it next question what is sternum and its function what is sternum and what is the function of it next question three what are the three parts of pelvis what are the three parts of pelvis and for each part write their functions and for each part write their functions next question number four what is the longest and strongest bone in the human body what is the longest and strongest bone in the human body and also write its location in the human body and also write its location in the human body next question number five how many types of facial bones are present in human skull how many types of facial bones are present in human skull next and this is the last question for this video question number six what is cervical vertebra what is cervical vertebra and also write its function so students today up to this wait for my next class and stay safe and stay healthy and stay at your home thank you students very much